For this video, what I want to do is show you how to find binomial probabilities using the TI Inspire graphing calculator. According to a Gallup poll taken in March 2019, approximately 41% of Americans worry a great deal about the state of the social security system. If 12 Americans are selected, find the probability that the following number of Americans will respond they worry a great deal about the social security system. The reason I know that this is binomial, um, the first reason I know that this is binomial is the fact that I can classify this as a success or a failure. The next person that I ask the question, do they feel that, the, um, that they worry a great deal about the social security system, they can either classify this as yes or no. So there's two successes. The other thing that we have is a fixed number of trials. So we have 12 people that we are selecting and our prob probability of success stays constant because every time I ask a person, there's the same likelihood that they will respond. All right, so in this video, I am going to cover all of the different types of binomial probabilities that are typically asked. I'm going to go through exactly at least, less than, more than, at most, and between. So if there's a certain one that you are looking for only, you can feel free to fast forward through the video to find that, or else you can watch through the whole thing, and I cover all of the different components that you need. All right, for the first one that we have, we are asked to find the probability that our x value is exactly 5. For this one, anytime it says exactly, you are going to use binome PDF. So if you're looking for exactly 5 or is equal to 5, anything like that where that's the only outcome that meets the criteria, you're going to use PDF, which stands for the probability distribution function or probability density function, depending upon your text. What we have to put in here when we're using this command in the calculator is we need to put in our n comma our p comma our x value. And I was trying to write the formula and accidentally put the, hold on. So this would be p comma x. So when I plug this in, our n would be 12, our p would be 0 0.41, and our x would be 5. So let me grab my calculator, and I'm just going to go to a calculator screen. So I'm going to choose option 1, add calculator. There's two options that you can do. Actually, there's three. I can either go to menu and probability and distributions, or I could have also, it's in the same place, I could have gone to statistics and distributions. So it's either statistics and distributions, or I could go to um, probability and distributions. So I'm going to choose option D, binomial PDF. My N is going to be 12. My P is 0.41. And under the X value, it does say optional in here. You can return all of the X values, all of the probabilities for everything from 0 to 12, but we're only looking for 5. So I can just hit enter and it gives us 0.2284. Or you could put this as a percent and say approximately 22.84% um, of the time, exactly five people out of 12 will respond that they worry a great deal about the social security system. So that's one way of finding the answer. The other thing that you can do in the TI Inspire is I can actually type in the command, the B-I-N-O-M PDF. And as soon as I hit the F, you're going to notice that it goes from italicized to upright. That means that it's a command that's stored in there. And I can just put in the 12 comma 0.41 comma 5. So if you don't want to go through the menu, you can actually type it in yourself. All right, so the next ones. All of the following are going to use binome CDF. CDF stands for the cumulative distribution function or cumulative density function. And what you're going to need for this one is you're going to need your N, your P, your lower value, and your upper value. So this is going to tell you where am I starting and where am I stopping? What values do I want to sum them up? 
Other calculators that have binome CDF often just start with zero, um, but this one does make it to where you have to input it slightly differently. All right, so we're looking for the probability that it's at least seven. At least seven means greater than or equal to because the lowest possible value that it could be is seven. So you have to think about this as at least means we're trying to find the probability of seven plus the probability of eight plus all the way to the probability of 12. So I would have added the nine, the 10, the 11, and the 12 together. So when I'm putting this into my calculator, the binome CDF, my n is still going to be 12, my p is going to be 0.41, and my lower is going to be 7, because that's the first number that I want to find. And then I want to go all the way to the end with 12, and so my upper would be 12. So I would put this into my calculator. Again, if you wanted to, you can type the command, the binome CDF, and then you can put in the 12, comma, 0.41 comma 7 comma 12 and then hit enter and it will give you the answer or you could have gone up into menu and probability and option 5 distributions and then scrolled through and found binome CDF so it's just a matter of whichever one is easier for you um, then if you were using this you would put in your n as 12 the probability is 0.41, my lower bound is 7, and then my upper bound is 12. And so if you notice, it enters it the exact same way that we did before, so it's just a matter of preference. What's easier for you? So the answer to this is 0.1765 or 17.65%. All right, for less than nine, probability that it's less than nine means that we want to start with zero because we can have zero successes, one success, all the way up to eight successes because eight is the last number that is below nine. And since it's binomial, it has to be whole numbers. So I would type this in as binome CDF. 12 comma 0.41 comma 0 and then we would stop at 8 so we want it from 0 to 8 so you just have to think about what numbers am I trying to add together so now that we've already entered the binome CDF I can up arrow and grab this and then just change the numbers that I want to change so I want to change my lower limit and my upper limit, limit to be 0 and 8, and then if I hit enter, I get 0.9817. So if you've been doing several, instead of having to retype or go through, you can just up arrow and select the last thing that you typed and then just change the values that you need to change. So there's a 98.17% probability that less than nine out of 12 people will respond yes, that they worry about the state of the social security system. All right, more than nine. For this one, because it's not including the nine, we are looking for the probability of 10 plus the probability of 11 plus the probability of 12. So you could always do the PDF of each of these individually, but it's much easier to use the binome CDF feature. So I would do binome CDF 12.41, and then I would do 10 through 12. So if I go back into the calculator, and again, I can up arrow, I'm gonna just grab this one because of the fact that it already has the 12 entered. So the only thing I need to change is the seven, and I'm gonna change it to 10. And then when I hit enter, I get 0 0.0035 approximately. Okay, that means that there's only approximately a 0.35% probability of this happening, which is unusual. Anytime that your value is typically less than 5%, then we consider it unusual. There are different thresholds that we use, but 5% is the default. So this would be considered an unusual value. It's very unlikely that more than nine out of 12 people would respond um, 
that they worry a great deal about the state of the social security system if the proportion was really 41%. All right, just a couple more. Um, it's important to know what symbols to use for all of these, which is why I'm going through each of them. At most means the very largest that it can be. That means that it has to be less than or equal to six. So this one includes the six. So when we're setting it up, we would do binome CDF. 12 comma point four one for this one we're going to start at zero and we're going to end at six the six is included because it can be at most six so we're starting with the probability of zero and then we're adding until we get to the probability of six that's what the binome cdf is going to do for us for this one, I'm going to go back to the one where I was already using zero and just highlight up to there. You can always go through again under menu and either statistics or probability in option five and then scroll through, but I just find it's easier to grab and copy and paste. Okay, so we end up with 0.82, 35 or 82.35%. And this calculator makes it a lot easier to find the between values because of the fact that you can do the lower and upper. Inclusive means that it includes the three and the eight. Exclusive means that it does not include them. So for this one, the way we would write it symbolically is that we want it to be between three and eight. That means that X has to be greater than or equal to three, but less than or equal to eight. So for this one, we're finding the probability of three plus the probability of four, all the way up to the probability of eight. So when I'm plugging this in, again, we would just do the binome CDF, 12.4133 and eight, which makes it really easy. You can grab whatever one you want to, or you can, like I said, type it in, or you can go back through. Just make sure that um, you know what values you need to change. So we would have three and eight, so that would give us 0.9084. Or nine eight four percent So there's a 90.84% probability that between three and eight people will respond that they worry a great deal about the state of the social security system. All right, and then the last one, the difference between this problem and the one that we just did is because it's exclusive, that means that it excludes three. So the next number that I would include is four, and then I would add up until I get to the last number below eight, which would be seven. Okay, so for this one, we're looking for the probability that it's between three and eight, exclusive, which means that it has to be greater than three but less than eight. So those numbers are four, five, six, and seven. So I would just change the last one from three and eight to four and seven. Okay, so that's the biggest difference between inclusive and exclusive. Inclusive includes it, exclusive does not include either one of them. So if it says to exclude them, you just go one higher than the lower number and one lower than the upper limit or the last number that you want to add. Okay, and we see that it's 0.7291. So it does make a huge difference. 90.84% is a lot different than 72.91%, so it's really important that you know whether it includes it or it excludes it. So just to recap, if you are looking for exactly, you are going to use binome PDF. If you are looking for anything else, you're going to use binome CDF. And in the TI Inspire, you would always put it in as N comma P, the lower limit and the upper limit. The lower limit is just where are you starting adding. The upper is going to be where are you ending. Remember that the lowest amount that you can have is zero successes. So don't forget that if it's less than um, or less than or equal to that you always want to start with zero as your lower limit. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.